This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan. And we played right into our hands. Yes, we did, Artemis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. Using the Temple's energies against the Renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense, as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuris be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued your wisdom and strength. Yet, lately, in your mind, I have sensed something that clouds your true spirit. Though Kerrigan has gone, I wonder if her treachery still remains. Be at ease, Zeratul. I am still the same Rashagal you have always known. These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself, while Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children. And know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. When you bring the crystals to the temple, the Zerg will surely send all their legions to destroy you. You must be prepared to protect the temple itself from the swarm. Hey, everybody. I know it's, it's kind of been a while. Uh... And if you're watching this in a time I've already posted them all, uh, please pay no attention to the video upload date, but it's actually, uh, it's been about two months or something. So I've been keeping busy, um, you know, doing some important shit and whatever. And my apologies for keeping you all delayed, if, especially if you were invested into the series. I still have plenty of interesting things to talk about, believe me. And I notice there's a substantial lack of gas, so let's actually start mining that immediately. Is you know what we haven't done yet? We haven't done carriers, or at least I don't remember. Well, we technically, I think we did carriers last mission, but that doesn't really count. Because those carriers I, I took from the enemy, so they're not really mine. I'm gonna build like six carriers and that will be it. I don't really need more than that. So yeah, uh, so I've been on vacation, and I also did a couple of other games, so that's pretty much why I didn't post anything. But you know what, we're gonna talk about interesting StarCraft stuff. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I'm, I apologize if I've said anything, uh, any, any of this before, um, which I don't think I have, but just in case, you know, whatever, I'll just apologize in advance. We're going to talk about, well, I, I know I talked a lot about my history of mapping, but I didn't talk actually a lot about the StarCraft patch history, which is something that's really interesting, in my opinion, uh, which may be totally boring to you, but I don't really care, because, you know, this is my, this is my fucking floor. And I will talk about whatever I please. If I want to talk about I concur. how, uh, uh, actually, no, never mind. Uh, but you know, whatever. Um, so let's let's uh, talk about the Starcraft patch history. So if you guys don't know anything about old Blizzard versus new Blizzard, it's actually really interesting. If you've never seen all the the Starcraft patch notes, they're really cool because. It really shows the difference between New Blizzard and Old Blizzard, because Old Blizzard was much better at patching. They have like, I, I don't really know the exact number, but I think it's like, it's under like 20 patches or something. They were really good at it. Like, they they, they did a lot of, you, you forget this is this is StarCraft, right? Like, they, they, they were doing a lot of balance fixes and shit like that. And it's really actually quite impressive how little, how little patches they actually had for this. Um... I'm gonna actually rally that down here. I, I think I definitely think it was like under 20 though, um, and they got it right the first time. They were very good about patching it, 
and I, I was very impressed. Like I, it was very impressive back back in the day. Um, nowadays, they actually go absolutely fucking ridiculous with their patches. Like they're really, really questionable patches these days. Like like the, the way Blizzard balances the game. Like StarCraft, I think everybody universally agrees has good balance. Uh, it's a very well balanced game. Very well done. Um, however, like other other games that they do, StarCraft 2, Diablo 3, and all that kind of stuff. Basically, and, oh, especially World. I, I, okay, I don't know anything about World of Warcraft, but I know enough that people complain about that all the time about the balance of that game. And it's like, like oh, they've ruined it, you know, with like fucking ten patches ago or whatever. So, um, you know what? It's 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 one of those interesting things to me. Uh, uh, okay, uh, I don't know if you see these weird colors, but whatever. Anyways, um, so the, the patch history is, is pretty pretty fun because for me, I I actually started in StarCraft One. It was 1.0. Uh, not many people remember that because that pa that one point uh, uh, one point I think it was 1.01 patch that came out actually relatively quickly uh, after release. Um, and we need to build up carriers, so let's start doing that and stop wasting time. I'm actually going to build another pylon over here. And, and so, like, I actually remember one of the first glitches I ever remember from this game was one that um, allowed you to slide a command center. I don't know if I ever told you about that one, but that one was like, you basically would land a Terran command center, and then you'd, while it was landing, you'd give it, uh, uh, you'd queue up an order. So I can actually queue up orders. Like, I'm holding shift right now, and, and he's just going to go to each of those places I pressed. So you queue up an order like that, you queue up a move order like that, while command center's landing. And it would actually follow those orders, like it would actually slide to the mineral patch to reduce the worker time to basically get there and made like Terrence seriously broken, but, uh, you know, and, and I, that was one of the ones I, I seriously remember because that was one of the first ones I was exposed to when I was uh, doing uh, doing this game. Okay, apparently he's not going to fire his missiles. Alright, I'll just kill this guy. I am ready. Can I turn out get a single kill? No, apparently not. It done. You know, I, I I wouldn't mind having another uh, spot on cannon here. Yes, executor. Everyone needs to come over here. Oh god, don't go! No, not my minerals. Holy shit, that's a lot of guys. Uh, but yeah, I have a lot of Protoss, and they parasited me, which the AI doesn't actually use for anything. The, the AI in this game is too primitive to actually know what to do with this. Alright, we're good. I'll just build like a couple more dragoons or something. Alright, we got our fleet beacon, so let's go make some carriers. It's it's pretty much carriers are the Swiss army, army knife of Starcraft. That's how it works. Alright, so more about patch notes. So that was one of my first uh, first glitches I ever remember. But all of the all of the patch notes are very very intentional kind of thing. Like they're always like good changes that they didn't revert back later or something stupid, you know. They were always they were always actually very solid patches patches and I was really I'm really impressed by that actually looking back on that because the new Blizzard they release patches all the time that's not necessarily a bad thing but they they will take more risks they won't think out things as much and they'll let basically it's basically like kind of like a social engineering thing they let the players dick around with them and they go well if we basically see that there's there's like you know. Uh, a lot of abuse of this glitch, or sorry, a lot of abuse of this mechanic, or or whatever, or people are like, you know, the Protoss start winning a bit more, or the Terrans start winning a bit more, or something like that. Then you know, then we know something's up. And notice they love to collect statistics. Like they they basically in Starcraft 2 especially, they talk about how the win rate for all the races are within like 10 percent of each other in the pro leagues and stuff like that. It doesn't really mean much because you know if like if like the top players all play Protoss or something, you don't really that, that's a really bad indicator. You know, but you know, that's just me. You know what? Uh, as I said, I'm not much of a balance guy, so I just know I just know that um, I, th I I personally believe Blizzard was so much better at balancing because they, as I said, they, they never re they never reversed anything, which is I find to be interesting. They never went and said, uh, well, well, no, I think there's one thing they reversed on. I forget. I think it was like uh, they they allowed you to have. You, uh, uh, refund things for free as Zerg. You can just cancel it and you get your larva back. And that brought in a lot of exploits with uh, faster six, four or six blowing. I don't know what game it was. It was either StarCraft or StarCraft 2. I know it came later down the down the line when uh, Blizzard had changed. Yes, they changed, man. Wow, that's um, 
an aerial attack. Didn't expect this one to be the less. I concur. <laughs> Apparently your tennis concurs. Uh, I want an I want an arbiter of tribunal. All right, let me get that. Man, I love carriers. Carriers are so much fun. That's why I like. I say I was saying for the last mission because they are kind of like cheap as hell. Let's be honest. I'm supposed to bring everyone to the temple, by the way. Um, State your will. And it's more on patch notes. There's a lot of interesting stuff. Like, um, one of the things about the map editor is that usually, uh, what you can do is you can have like little locations and stuff like that. Like, like if people like this box here, if I drag some, bring someone into there, uh, like basically you could have a bunch of things where if you bring one of a particular unit to a place, they could do something. Uh, however, there was a time where they actually didn't have exactly. What they had was uh, less than or greater than. And what you'd have to do to make exactly is have both of those. So you'd have to go, like, it has to be, uh, you know, less than seven but greater than five to get six. It was really, it was really retarded and funny at the same time. Man, I'm, I'm gonna have no gas. Consider it done. Maybe I should just take over this base. I'm gonna have carriers for it. Why, you, why not use them now? Let's just fucking go attack now. I think that was my thing that I used to do that in, in, in these Let's Plays. Was I was just... I would attack early just to make things fun and interesting. And it's also... it's a giant tank. Of carrier -ness. I think there's another base here. I got, I got like a crap ton of minerals too. It's ridiculous. Alright. Let's go get their base. Uh, so what other patch notes can I think of? Yeah, look at they have ultra lists right now. Well, that meter list is smart enough to know who the actual threat is. And this guy has no shields. Actually, I want some shield batteries. Oh, this is fun. I can do just let them attack. What other notable patch notes are there? I'm trying to think of some more. Um. I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, floating drone bugs, man. Uh, there's, they have this thing, they have this really interesting thing. Uh, actually, I, I read about the pathfinding in this game. I'm going to show you real quick before I continue attacking. Uh, this is one of the interesting little uh, little things that became like a huge glitch, but is also a solution to a very real problem. Uh, look, look at look at my uh, dragoon here. You see how my workers are not actually colliding with them? And he actually, he, he just phases right through them. And that was actually a thing. They, 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 they had this thing where they removed worker collision because workers would collide into each other and they would never mine efficiently. It was like it was like a huge problem apparently in, in their in their development of this game. Um, and so their solution was basically, hey, let's just turn off collision, and it worked great. But one of the things that they that was a huge bug uh, was that uh, there's like a floating drone glitch, which basically you unburrowed a drone and you set like a rally point onto a mineral point, and that drone would go directly to that mineral patch to go mine it and that like that bug like just would always come back like blizzard could never like fucking fix that uh i, I i'm pretty sure it's you can't do it now or if you can it's not really possible in regular melee games okay i think they're gonna need some help here yeah unfortunately they're not very good at these things but well, uh, we'll just go and get these things. I'll get a carrier and an arbiter. I like I like arbiters. So yeah, uh, so you could like float it because using that that no collision thing, it actually worked on like terrain too. It was it was like the worst thing that Blizzard ever did, mostly because it just came came back up all the time. And people were finding new ways of exploiting that because that's like a, that's like a free scout. Ma imagine no collisions, just like running right up to fucking whatever you want. I think they're attacking my carriers. Uh, they probably are. Uh, let's go just finish off this base then. Uh, ignore that. Ignore that hydro lesson. This is bad news for you. Alright, good, they're being ignored now. Yeah, these carriers should be doing way more damage. Alright, let me think of some other things. Um, uh, they had a lot of things like, oh yeah, six pooling was a very real threat. Uh, that was like, seriously, uh, not six pooling, it was four pooling, sorry. I'm thinking, I'm thinking once again of, uh, of another StarCraft game that we don't speak about here. No. Um, 
Four pulling used to be really bad. Like they used to like spawning cool pools used to cost like 150 minerals. Like it was basically their logic was I guess the same as uh, like a uh, the gateway and the Terran barracks and stuff. And like they did did so many things to raise the amount of time it takes to get Zerglings out because it's just you could always get ridiculously fast no matter what you did no matter what you tried. Uh, it just seemed like every day like you know. It's, it's still a common strategy, and it's still a very effective strategy in, in Starcraft Delay, in my opinion. But they had, to, they had to try and fix it so many times, and I, I found that to be really funny. Like, haha, funny. I was, I was literally rolling on the floor laughing. No. Ah, fucking, I hate pylons. It's like the worst thing. I'll let this Parasite one go. I, w I, want, I want you to see me making a Nexus where your base used to be. I'm a sadistic bastard. Unfortunately, he's going to where does something call it the flare. Oh, what? Oh, what? No, 1v1 me, Drew. Oh, well, no, you went over there, and my carriers killed you. Well, how else will you learn? I need, I need the gas, like, for reals, so that's why we're gonna just make a base right here. Might as well just make a pylon right here. I don't know, they had a, they had a lot of good inter interesting patches. I don't know if I ever talked to you guys about EUD triggers. I forgot what that stood for. It was like... But it was basically a form of uh, memory editing uh, in the map editor. Where you could actually overwrite certain memory addresses in, in, in the StarCraft campaign editor. And the StarCraft campaign editor is very, very primitive. It's, it is terribly primitive. And so, editing memory allowed us to do a whole bunch of fun things. Oh god, I'm gonna lose a carrier. No, I didn't lose a carrier. I'm just spamming fucking Corsairs now. They're, they're fucking pissed I took their base. God damn it, deal with it, nerds. They, they, they can't get over it. And what the hell's attacking me here? Absolutely nothing. All right. Well, you you guys have fun with that. Or oh, actually, maybe they're going to this base and then they're like accidentally running into my shit here. That's okay though. All right, let's just build a. Yeah, I have a fuck ton of like minerals, so oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to think of other notable patches. What what what's wrong with here? What's wrong with here? I bet you anything. There's a fucking zergling or something there. And he's just hiding. He's like, I hope they don't see me. I hope they don't see me. I hope... Just watch. When this thing finishes. I should probably make some... Some... I don't know, I'm robotics lab for observers, but, you know. Dude, that kid is, like, trolling me. Look at this. I've never seen the AI do this. I want to I, I wanna know what it is. Yo, look at this. Two Zerglings! Do you even try to attack me? Well, guess what? You delayed my expansion by... Actually, not really at all. The food mix is right there. Well, this should keep this place protected. Oh! Oh, they have the, they have like this uber zerglings, crack zerglings, cracklings. Sorry, that's what they're called. All right. Well, let's go get some miners up here. Uh. And, the, and like uh, missile turrets used to cost like a whole lot more resources, and then they made those like cheaper by like a, a, a substantial margin. Actually, I remember fucking observers. Sorry, not observers. Uh, missile turrets used to be so expensive. So uh, I'd say they did a good job with that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, that memory editing glitch I was talking about—it wasn't really a glitch, but it's just like a an undersight, let's say, in their map editor. Uh, that thing. Yeah, that was, um, apparently someone figured out how to, like, command Windows how to delete System32 or something and sent that to Microsoft, uh, sorry, to Blizzard or something and said, hey, this is a really big problem because someone can download a map and it's just like, literally the map says format on my hard drive and that'll become the newest thing. So, you know, as, as much as I, I'd, I would have a blast playing that map, but, you know, I don't think that would have ever taken off. Because no one truly wants to format their hard drive. What are they doing here? They're, they're just okay. Well, come come at me. All right. Well, we're just gonna go take over their base now. Um, one thing that was really fun. Uh, trying to trying to think. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of little tricks. One of the little tricks we had in our map editor was um, uh, in the map editor. I never really. I know I didn't talk about this one because this, this is a really fun fun story actually. Um, there was always a big 
thing, like, uh, the thing... The thing about me is I'm an asshole, and I was an asshole when I was a kid, too. Like, no, nothing has really changed for me. Uh, but, you know, I always wanted to kind of... Like, my, my, my stance in cheating in games is always basically... Um, if it... If you're hurting other people, you're... Like, like if... Let's say if I cheat in the campaign right now, that doesn't hurt anybody. I'm only, like, hurting myself, so I don't cheat, obviously. Um... But, you know, people... People who... Who fucking cheat in, like, you know... I don't know, um, in multiplayer stuff, make me sick, like, I, 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 they're just like, well, they don't make me sick, so like, I, don't, I don't honestly care that deeply, but it's, it's one of those things that's, um, you know, it's, it's, ri it's quite dickish to do, and so the, uh, um, so one of the things that us mappers would do is we'd, like, put a bunch of shit in just to fucking piss off people using hacks, and so one of the things you could do is, like, you know, for, like, mineral hacks and stuff, if there is no way someone could get like you know ten thousand minerals or something, because which is I think that's usually the amount that they try and give you. Um, you basically just like just end the game for them whenever they got that much resources. You know, just kick them from the game. You know, because it's just like well, there's no way you're getting that without cheating. One of my favorite things though was that um, in a map I created, uh, there was no air units in this game. Basically, uh, well, it, this isn't a lot of uh, like this is a. It wasn't. I don't. It wasn't really made by me. Uh, I don't know who it was really made by, or I don't know. I, I, I think I, I think I came up with the idea on my own. But I think it, it was pretty obvious of an idea. But they had, they have all kinds of unused units. Like whenever Rashigal talks in this game, uh, it's actually she's actually a crosshair, a corsair, not crosshair. No, they killed my guy. She's actually a Corsair, um, and she's a unit you can actually place, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, I gotta wait for this st stuff to go away. She she's actually a unit you can place on the on like anywhere you want, and that's that's actually really cool. Um, and, but the, the the notable thing though is that they have a lot of unused units, so they were clearly things that maybe they were going to use in the game at some point, but they didn't. And they're like sometimes sometimes it's just placeholder shit. That's sometimes what it is. Um, uh, other times it's like actually like it in the map editor it looks like a, it looks like a command center. Uh oh, get back here. It looks like a command center or some shit. But in actuality, what it? Uh, what? I can't get up there. Oh, well, that sucks. Well, don't mind those minerals. Sorry, I, I thought I could make it up there. Um, in actuality, it crashes the game. Uh, if if you see it in the game, it crashes it because it, it there's just it, it I guess it doesn't know how to handle it or something. I don't really know what the story behind that is. Uh, but it's funny because uh, if you it's basically there's a bunch of units if you look at them in the in the in the map editor like if you put, place them on a map and you look at them, they will crash the game immediately. And so that and that was actually some of the thing like if you ever played the Starcraft custom, there's also like a bunch of there's a bunch of funny. Maps like do, like literally the entire premise of the map was don't look at the center, and so people would just crash one by one every time they looked at the center, and that was actually pretty popular because it's just I don't know it was, it was dumb and hilarious everybody loved it. Um, however, what? Uh, but you could also use those as a really dickish thing for map hackers because map hackers can see the entire map, uh, including on top of high ground. So if you had a map where they would never be able to go onto spots of high ground. You just place a bunch of them everywhere, and they're basically like a bunch of mines, and and it was really kind of funny to watch that because um, that's actually what s some of the map hacks started doing was they would I think have a um, they would prevent prevent those things from crashing you basically they would add I guess it'd re add like the models or whatever uh, textures or not t textures sprites or whatever was missing. Why is this thing like the creep takes so long to go away? It's bugging the fuck out of me. I'm so irritated at this point. Because all I wanted to do was establish a base of operations. Alright. So, um, I don't know if you guys have ever watched my other Food War Let's Play. And if you haven't, then you haven't. But if you have, you have. Um, basically, this next part is not really too interesting because once I get them over here, the Zerg will start doing their attacks and all that kind of shit. Um, and so. The most interesting way to actually do this is, well, for me anyways, or the easiest way, I don't really know what, I don't really know how else I would do it. The attacking with this stuff is silly, but there's an overabundance of, like, minerals in this entire fucking game, like, like, this, this thing right here. Like, I have a ton of minerals right now. And so, 
Basically, usually what I like to do is I like to say fuck the other bases. Oh, fuck. What are you dumbasses doing? I wasn't even thinking about that. All right. So you basically go and you just start taking these things and then you go and make, make a shit ton of cannons. And if you like cannon defense games, well, this is your thing. I wish I could stack cannons, but no. Uh, that's basically a... Uh, that's an interesting thing. Uh, apparently, apparently, placing unit, uh, pl uh, placing buildings in this game depends solely Direct upon wrath. your site, and um, if you can see some, something that you, is there, you can't build on it. However, if you turn off uh, vision for yourself and just I basically concur. you can't see anything, but you'd have to basically hot you basically have to hotkey like something like I'd have to have my crosshair, uh, my crosshairs, crosshairs, uh, my crosshairs on, and ready. then and then I'd basically go start building pile uh, like I'd start stacking cannons and so you'd have like one block of a billion ca a billion cannons there and it was it was just hilarious because yeah it was funny I don't know it, it no it was it was great because it was like um it's not something you can exploit in in single player but uh, sorry, in, in multiplayer, but it was something you can exploit in, in multiplayer for fun, and they made entire like defense maps. So, uh, although it, you know anything like a siege tank or anything with splash damage would, would just kind of fuck your day because it's just every, every cannon is stacked on there, right? Like you can't, there, like there's no getting out of that. Anyways, um, so here's the here's the plan. I'm gonna bring them in there, and then I'm gonna just edit it out because honestly, you'll see in a second. I am ready. Get in there. Is secured. Me. These are cracklings. The secured. Executor, Zeratul and I will begin to channel the temple's energies. You must prevent the Zerg from destroying the temple while we work. I don't be with you, Executor. I don't think I really have any more stories. So, they're, all they're gonna do at this point, they're gonna be, they're gonna be fucks, and they're gonna just attack me for an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna build a shit ton of pile of uh, cannons and that's it. So it's like it's like 50 minutes, not even that long. But they, they send like little attacks like that, it's really not interesting. And I can't fit in commentary for that necessarily. So I know that, th remember that 30 minute mission? I filled in that, but I don't know about this one. I mean, I talked about all the stuff I want to. Plus I like to keep my, uh, my LPs within a nice time period, so. Just gonna build cannons every day, so later. Ah, uh, you know what? They're sending like interesting attacks at me, I guess. Fine, we'll continue this. Um, they, they sent like some things that mean, I guess we'll just see how I repel them. Just constantly rebuilding stuff. And they also do ensnare. They love, they love ensnare. But, like, this many carriers, man, is, is like enough to repel them. It's actually pretty interesting. I don't know, it's, it, I guess it's kind of a cool idea that you have to like defend, defend the, the temple, but... Oh god, it took two hit points of damage at some point. I don't know when that happened. It's probably like Muta Splash or whatever. I think Orange, Orange especially right now, is being being a huge asshole. But Brown decided that it's actually a better idea just to go after my buildings. Uh, apparently the temple, the temple that's about to kill him in a couple minutes is just a total waste of his time. Luckily this is defended by a shit ton of photon cannons as well, so... Yeah. yeah. I think we're good. I don't really have to even care about that base. Uh oh. Corsair defense force, go. Two more Corsairs. How did that cannon take so friggin' long? Nobody even knows. Oh wow, this is all done. Alright, well go mind that. Man, Corsairs sometimes suck. They do like five damage each. Like they're they're just meant to be like a a counter to like I don't know scourges and shit and stacking mutalisks. That's what they're good at. Because that that's they have very limited splash damage. That guy's dead. Look at look at this fucking attack group. All right, everyone, come come over here. I have disruption web, which I haven't even used once. Because I'm MLG Pro legit. And I apparently had a bunch of Corsairs over here too. Look at this, look at this, watch this. Oh, Corsairs. Oh. Oh, I love the Corsairs. Oh. Oh, damn. Alright, I take that back. This is actually pretty, pretty interesting. 
I don't know what the hell he's converting over here. Oh, I know. He, he was just bored too. We're just we're just like butt harassing him. The poor guy. That's the last thing you want, you know. Have, you know that feel whenever you come out of an egg and then then you're dead. Pretty bad feel, I'll tell you that. Oh well. Um, yeah, the overabundance of minerals at the beginning is just like just makes this part just ridiculously easy. I I, I don't know. I'm, I I don't think anyone has ever lost the history of StarCraft. Because this is like. I don't even know. Like, okay, occasionally, though, I, I forget, though, I have the units and they're, like, bloodthirsty and they'll just run right into the spore colonies to kill them. Kill, kill single units. This is mostly why, though, I keep, uh, I, I keep Corsairs around for this purpose. Because, you know, carriers and stuff, they don't really cut it when it comes to quick air, air defense. That's what I like about these guys. Uh, I could just like post like a couple of carriers around everywhere. Eh. No, I want to kill him. I stand ready. Apparently they have like look at this. Brown. Brown's retarded. I think Brown is meaning to attack me, but his AI is just retarded, and so he keeps attacking like over here or something. He's supposed to be attacking the center right now. It's not supposed to be orange. I don't even know what the hell Red's up to. Red, Red's just fucking chilling. Oh, there we go. He sent it all to us by way. The problem is, when you have a melee unit, they, they become more effective as they get further into here. Although, they might get they might get through. Do we need carrier intervention? No. No, I guess not. I mean, they'll get in eventually, I guess. But, you know. But I can keep rebuilding stuff. We're warping in from who knows where, where the fuck these buildings are now coming from. Hey, look, they brought a carrier over here. Okay, I, gu I guess you should rebuild some of this. You know, nothing's more annoying than having, like, an annoying probe just rebuilding everything. Uh-oh. It's maybe the end of this base. This is this is now our priority. The effects. God, they know. Okay, if we can defend the Nexus, I'll, I'll call it even. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to defend this Nexus. Oh god, this is this is this is this is the first time. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one. And none of these are gonna finish in time. Ah, this is this is shit. Alright, well you guys can just go over here. And I can just phase right through them. Look at this. Oh, they can't block my way. I clicked on a mineral patch. I saved I saved three probes. What are you gonna do about it? Alright, let me go see what the hell's up here. Apparently nothing but death. Well, this base, this base, we uh, will forever miss you. We'll upgrade ground weapons in your honor. I don't think there's gonna be any problems here. And these mutilists really have a death wish and just kind of run right into this. Yeah, see, oh my god, this is fun. Look at that. I think the rest of this mission be like this. Ah! Why do you have to make me slow? Oh man, they're coming from every direction. It's now legit. Oh fuck, uh, ignore me, Hydralisks. You wouldn't hit crippled corsairs, would you? No, not really. Oh wow, they, they took out most of the cannons here, actually. Doesn't matter, we win. And, oh right, I lost my forge. I can't rebuild cannons. Oh god, this is getting risky. Am I gonna make it in the last 30 seconds? Probably will, but you know. Oh, now they're over here. I don't really feel like remaking that forge, especially since I'm, you know, 10 seconds out. Oh well. So I kept it most of it, you know. That's that's how we roll. Executor, the channeling is complete. Withdraw our forces into the temple and brace yourself. Like this, they're just all going into there. And they're removing it from because they're removed from my supply. So they're actually removing those units from existence. How do carriers fit in that fucking temple anyways? Well, I guess we'll find out because the next cutscene should explain everything. We're just gonna see carriers in the fucking temple. That's how we roll. Giant flagships. It's a really big building. 